Hello everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. I'm getting ready for the holidays today. I have some cleaning and decorating to help you guys get motivated. And Thanksgiving weekend is when we put up the decorations so that we can take advantage of the four day weekend. And I wanted to get started early for those of you who like to decorate on the holiday weekend too. And for some of you, this may be way too early or you may be busy traveling, but having four days to get the decorations up means I can take my time and I don't have to rush through the process to get things done. But before I can set up the tree, I need to move some of the furniture out of the way to make room. And some years I like to put the tree next to the front door. And other years I like to put the tree in the corner next to the fireplace. And one thing I realized is that when I put the tree in the corner, you can only see half of the tree, <laughs> which makes it easier to decorate. But when I put the tree next to the front door, you can see all three sides of the tree. So I need to use more decorations and it takes more time to put it up and take it down and we have a nine foot tree so this is the only room that's big enough for the tree of course there are pros and cons to having an artificial tree but the main reason that I like having an artificial tree is because it lasts as long as I need it to <laughs> and I don't have to worry about water and sagging branches that drag down the ornaments and the garland it's quick and easy to put up and it's just as quick and easy to take down it never dries out so so all the ornaments stay where I put them and it's pre-lit which saves time because I don't need to add lights to the tree. There's nothing more festive than decorating the tree next to a cozy fire, but it's been too warm this year. <laughs> We've had rainy days, windy days, and sunny days, but we still haven't had any days that are cold enough to light a fire. Most years, the temperatures really start to drop on Thanksgiving weekend. It's been in the 70s here most days, and I've been enjoying the mild temperatures, and I'm hoping the weather holds out long enough for me to finish adding the lights to the outside of the house. I think the biggest drawback of having an artificial tree is having to fluff up and straighten all the branches. <laughs> it's a tedious job, but it's an essential part of the decorating process. So by the time I've finished, I've usually had enough for one day, and I just don't have the patience left to actually decorate, which can make it hard to get motivated to even get started. So most years, I just try to spend a little time setting up so that I can decorate the following day, or in some cases, even the following week because there are just some years that I'm just not ready for the holidays, but if I put it off, it just adds more unnecessary stress later on. So it does help to get the tree set up and the garland hung, even if I don't have the time to decorate them, because the added sparkle from the lights always helps to get me into the holiday spirit. I like to use command hooks to hang up the garland, but the hooks need some time to set up and stick to the surface, so I attach the hooks first, but I've never really had a problem with the hooks coming off. When we first moved into the house, I couldn't wait to hang up garland on the staircase, <laughs> but we needed a lot of garland to cover the entire length of the railings, so we had to tie together several sections to form one long piece, and then we wrapped the whole thing with lights. And a few years ago, I wound a second strand of garland to give it a bit more of a substantial look, but the added bulk makes it hard to squeeze everything into the storage tote, so when it comes out of the tote, <laughs> all of the candles are going in different directions, which takes a bit more work to straighten out the garland again. Some years I give the garland a dramatic swag, but this year I decided on a straighter look for the garland. It's much easier to get the garland hung evenly that way, but if you add a little piece of tape where the garland is tied to the banister, then all you need to do is line up the tape with the hook the following year, which makes it so much faster and easier to hang the garland from one year to the next.
I hadn't planned on doing anything more today, but after I got the garland hung, I was motivated to keep going, so I got started on the tree, and I usually hang gold beads on the garland, but I decided to hang them on the tree instead, and I decorate the tree with a wire ribbon every year, but I wanted to cut back on the ribbon, and the gold beaded garland will add more sparkle to the tree. I've been looking for a tree topper to replace the bow that I use on the top of the tree, but I haven't been able to find one that I really like and fits into my budget. So this year I'm creating a topper with a few large bows and later I can add a few picks. And overall, I'm really happy with the way it turned out and I just make a few loops with the ribbon and then I use the wire in the tree to secure the bows. But floral wire is a good option if your tree doesn't have wire. I usually like to use enough ribbon to make at least six large loops and have enough left for a tail, but I'm using leftover sections of ribbon from last year, so I didn't have enough ribbon for the tails. I like to stick to a fairly neutral color palette with the tree and lots of gold and silver to reflect the light. So I'm just using a black, white, and gold ribbon on the tree. And I'm starting at the back of the tree and weaving small sections of ribbon across the tree so that it looks like the ribbon is wrapped around the tree. That way I don't need to use as much ribbon and it's much easier to work with the smaller sections. By the time I finished getting all the ribbon on the tree, I was running out of daylight and it seemed like a pretty good place to stop for the day. <laughs> and there was a lot more that I wanted to do around the house, but I didn't feel like cleaning, so I called it quits and I started again the next day. The next day I got started with my usual morning routine and I had a few things that I hung up to dry the day before that I needed to fold and put away, but I had a lot that I wanted to get done so I put off doing laundry for the following day. I 
Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow on golden, 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 golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow my golden 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 things gold hair gold ring Feet step over splinters of the moon. Once I got the house reset for the day, I could focus on cleaning up the mess that I made the day before. And whether you have a fake tree or a real one, pine needles still get everywhere, so I needed to get out the vacuum. But I also wanted to dust before I set out any Christmas decorations around the house. And I didn't plan on adding any decorations upstairs, but it only took a few extra minutes to do, and that way I don't have to come back and do it again later.
when we moved the chair out of the living room to make room for the tree, we popped it in this corner to get it out of the way. And usually we put the chair in the spare room upstairs, but it's already occupied with everything that we took out of the bathroom, along with the wrapping paper and a few other random things. <laughs> so we'll keep the chair in this corner until I have a chance to clean out that room. This is the only room in the house that's not completely covered with pine needles, <laughs> but I still wanted to give this room a quick vacuum while I had the vacuum out. Take me back to when we were kids and they didn't care if we were acting stupid cause all we had was eyes. If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. Miss Callie was camping out at the end of the hall, so I had to do my best to work around her. When she was younger, she would follow me all around the house every time I vacuumed. And now she's losing her hearing, so she doesn't even budge when I vacuum. Last year I found a new set of hooks for the stockings that we keep on the fireplace and I'll be sure to add a link to those in the description box. They have padding on the underside to protect the surfaces from scratching and it works with gravity so there's no need for nails or adhesive strips and they have a low profile so they blend in with the decor without adding more visual clutter. We also found these stockings at Hobby Lobby last year and my husband and I both have stockings and we have a stocking for each one of the dogs. <laughs> so we had to add the letter ornaments so that we could tell them apart, but I didn't want Mr. hanging on the fireplace. So I had to split up the letters. So I decided to put the girls on one side and the boys on the other. <laughs> So I got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days, wander around with you. You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Oh, I have stayed. 
stop running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking hot wine by the fire Don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end One of the biggest problems I have with decorating around the house is that all the decorations seem to concentrate in the living room area. (laughs) So I've been looking for ways to sprinkle more holiday cheer around the house. And last year I went searching for a topper for the tree and I came back home with everything but the topper. (laughs) And this year I pulled out all the decorations I could find but I'm still missing a box and I haven't searched through all the boxes yet so I'm sure it will turn up. There's nobody at the door You said, I wish this will never be over. Darling, it's time for your present. Come over here. Now it is time to get out in the snow. Lighting a light with you. Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring. Nobody loves you as much as I do. It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling. It is that time of the year. Drinking hot wine by the fire Here on our own we got nothing to fear I had these two trees on the mantle last year, but I thought I would try them on this cabinet, and I'm not crazy about the way they look here. I liked them on the mantle much better, but I need something to hide the cord that lights up the garland, so I decided to leave them here for now. It's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling when it's time for Christmas Let's sing a carol I have a few floral picks to add to the tree before I start adding the rest of the ornaments. And when I'm decorating a tree, I try to distribute them as evenly as possible. And one thing that helps is to divide the tree into three sections from top to bottom so that I can place ornaments at the top, middle, and bottom of the tree. And there's not a lot of room at the top of the tree, so I only place one or two of each type depending on the size of the ornament. But the bottom third of the tree will need the most ornaments, so I reserve about half the ornaments for the bottom of the tree. And at the same time, I divide the tree into vertical sections and I place ornaments in a straight line from top to bottom. And then I stagger the next row so that the ornaments land in between the ornaments on in the row next to it. I can see the snowflakes fall. I can hear the sleigh bells call. They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday. What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true ornaments are the last thing that I add to the tree. I start with the round ornaments, working from the largest to the smallest. And once the round ball ornaments are in place, I add irregular shapes, long ornaments, and then I use the smallest ornaments to fill in the holes. When it's time for Christmas, let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here. Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here 
We've been collecting Christmas ornaments over the years, and there are some ornaments that we've had for over 30 years now, <laughs> so the tree doesn't change much from year to year, but every once in a while, I'll come across something that I just have to add to the collection. The last thing I do is add the one-of-a-kind ornaments and the ornaments that have sentimental value and I place them wherever I can still find holes in the tree that need to be filled and not all the ornaments make the cut each year. <laughs> Sometimes I just run out of time to add them all and other times I just need a different look so every year the tree comes out just a little bit different. When I wanted to clean off the shelves so that I can add some holiday cheer in the kitchen this year and I've been looking for some pine garland to add to the window but I also thought I might add some live garland this year but in the meantime I just need to work with what I already have. How lucky can this so hard be and I fall into peace and silence I had this set of houses on the fireplace mantel last year, but I thought I would try them on this shelf in the window, and I think the white houses blend in with the rest of the decor on the shelf, and they also add a nice seasonal touch. This Christmas moose was a gift from my father-in-law and I always have the hardest time trying to find the right spot for it and it always seems to land in the same spot every year. The dogs ring the bell on the back door when they need to go outside, but they don't always hit their mark. And when the light hits this door just right, you can see all the nose prints. So I had to take a minute to clean up the glass.
I still have a few more decorations to put out once I find them, but that's all for this week. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today. And I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and I hope to see you next week.